Hey Urban Adventures, we are at a fish hatchery in Decorah, Iowa. As you see behind me, there's a fish hatchery back there. It's open to the public. So yeah, let's go check it out. This is going to be a part, a series of uh, probably part, three parts or four parts video of the uh, weekend uh, fly fishing and checking out all these beautiful places going on all these adventures just for you guys so all right let's go check it out it is very sunny day today very hot day today hey everybody this is a special treat we are here at the yellow river state fish hatchery we are gonna go see something pretty cool i'm pretty excited it's my first time here Way to go see this. Ooh, what we got in here? Let's look in here first. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, you can feed them too. Look at all these trouts. Okay, these are all the fish that they stock where we are fishing at. Yeah. Oh, no clear. Oh, look at all this. Let's go feed the fish. Oh, as I look at it, as I look at it, as I look at it. Pretty cool, huh, Ethan? Oh, it's a lot of trout. Huh? Pick a lot, pick a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> the mom over there feeding the fish. <laughs> Don't feed him too much. <laughs> Look at all these hungry trouts. Here, let's drop some food in it. Whoa. Oh, look, hold on. Yeah. Hey, don't look at me. Okay, watch. I think we're going to feed him, but yeah, let's feed him. Let's drop a little bit. Watch. Whoa, look at that. That is so cool. Look at all these trouts. All these hungry trouts. These are all the trouts that we were catching at the area we were we were fly fishing. Like I said, all the rainbows are stocked, and then all the browns are naturally reproducing in the streams. Wow. And apparently there's some bigger ones over here, so let's go check these out. Check out these big ones. Ooh, there's some big ones in here. Wow, look at that. Yeah, look, 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 like that one right there. Oh, look at that one right there. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Holy oh, cow. Yeah. Are they going to start feeding? Oh, are I don't know. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch over there. Too. Wow. Look at that. It's like. It's like a feeding, feeding frenzy. Look at that feeding frenzy. Whoa. Oh, this one looks like a family. Yeah. I think they do stock some of these big ones. Unless these are their breeding, their breeding stock. Who knows, but man, these are 
It's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Man, they're going crazy. Let's go see if we can find some more big ones over here. Let's go walk around. See any over here. Ooh, I would love to cast my fly rod in here. Catch some of these big ones. So we'll see a swirl right here. Oh yeah, there's a big one right here, hiding right here. Big one hiding right here. There's this big one right here. Oh, I think I scared it. <laughs> well, there's a couple of big ones right here. Here, this is an empty pond. Probably getting this one ready for fish. This is what their pond looks like. Pretty cool. You can see it's this whole area right here. It's all for the fish hatchery. Man, there's some big fish in here. Let's see if we can get some fish to come out. Big ones in there, oh god. Being frenzy. Wow, look at this big one right here. Look at this big one in front of us. That's gonna be a 10, 15 pounder right there. This is a, this is Lake Michigan size trout right here. Hey, what? Do you ever see something? This is a Lake Michigan style right here, man. Wow. If you guys never been here, I highly recommend that you guys come out and uh, check this place out. It's in Iowa. Mm -hmm. Imagine throwing this all in here. Man, I want to stick the camera in there. We can. Yeah. Look at the dark one right there. Watch uh, it. Do I have these ones? Right there. One's gonna come. Man, that one came. Honey, honey, throw it like right here. Throw it like right there. Yeah, these are the big ones. Yeah. Oh, look at this one right here. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see it on a camera, but that is huge. These are probably close to 10 pounders. Six to eight. Oh, there's some 10 pounders in here, dude. Wow. Yo, let me throw this Some beautiful pink colorations on those bands. Yeah, there's a little bee or something right on me. It's been on me for quite a while now. Hopefully it doesn't sting me. I don't think it's gonna sting, but... Look, there's like a bee on me. Don't hit it. It's looking for something to eat. As long as it doesn't sting me, it can stay right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go take a look over here. See what's over here. See what we got on this side. Yeah, more trouts. 
Oh, these are the baby ones. These are fingerlings right here. These are anywhere between five to six inches right here. Wow, pretty cool. It's good to see they have small ones up to a be big, beautiful breeding size rainbows. Whew, you're tickly. You're tickly, little buggy. This little bead thing or whatever it is that's on my hand, it's just tickling. It's crawling up my upper hand right now. Just tickling. Wow, this is so cool. Check this pond here. He's about the same size, five to seven inches. Roughly five to six inches. With their filtration systems. We'll look over here. Oh, this is empty. So they're probably getting ready for a new stock. I think this is where they plug the holes and then it fills up. So they're probably gonna clean up all the algae first. And a bug just flew in my hair. Looks like the same thing over here. These must have been uh, the ones that they stocked the streams with. Oh yeah, let's go take a look over here. This is what we got over here. I got a little bit more trout pellets left. So I cast them over here. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. We got some more small ones. Oh, these, these are even smaller, they're so cute. These are about three, four inch fingerlings. It's kind of cool how they have different sizes. I want to see some baby fry. That'd be kind of cool. But I think the fry, they keep them in the shed over here. Yeah, these are the bigger ones. Drop it right here. Let's see if we can get away from the glare. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Look at that. That is so cool. Drop some more. Oh, look at that. They're going crazy. They're going wild. And they got water on my lens. There it goes. All right, let's drop some more food. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just going to stick it right in here. Seven to nine inches. They got a few big ones in here too, probably closer to nine, ten inches. It's cool they have a little description of uh, their, the fishes and the fishery. I never knew the Iowa is a very big ice, uh, I was gonna say ice fishing, but I meant uh, fly fishing state. They have some of the best trout streams down here too. As uh, you all know, the Driftwest area covers at least uh, the western part of Wisconsin into the southeast, southeast 
uh, part of Minnesota in the northeast part of Iowa. And I'm just uh, very proud to be a part of uh, these uh, states where we have such good fishery here. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Let's look at these small ones right here. you guys uh, enjoy that that's uh that's pretty cool here's the stream right here and if i turn it around you'll see the fish hatchery area which is just uh, right over there yeah this is so amazing <laughs> <laughs> 